This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. In this part, uh, let us study what is calorimetry. A system is said to be isolated if no exchange or transfer of heat occurs between the system and its surrounding. Okay. When we call an isolated system or when we call a system as isolated system means when there is no exchange or transfer of heat between that system and its surrounding. Okay. When different parts of an isolated system are at different temperature, a quantity of heat transfers from the part at higher temperature to the part at lower temperature. When we consider different parts of the isolated uh, system at different temperatures, At that time, obviously, that heat transfer takes place from the high temperature to the low temperature, isn't it? That is the natural phenomena. The heat lost by the part at higher temperature is equal to the heat gained by the part at lower temperature this is very important so heat lost heat lost by the part at higher temperature is equal to the heat gained by the path at low temperature. Calorimetry means uh, the measurement of heat. Okay. The word calorimetry means uh, the measurement of heat. When a body at high temperature is brought in contact with another body which is at low temperature, the heat lost by the hot body is equal to the heat gained by the cold body. Okay, if you consider uh, two bodies, if one is the hot body and another one is the cold body, if this is the hot body and uh, this is the cold body, so when you brought in contact, the heat lost by this hot body will be equal to the heat gained by this cold body provided no heat is allowed to escape to the surroundings. Okay. A device in which heat measurement can be made is uh, called as calorie meter. So calorie meter is a device which is used for the measurement of heat. So, this calorimeter, it uh, mainly consists of a metallic vessel and stirrer of the same material like uh, copper or aluminium. So, it consists of uh, 
metallic vessel and uh, stirrer of same material like copper or aluminium so the vessel this metallic vessel is kept inside a wooden jacket which contains heat insulating materials like uh, glass wool and the outer jacket it acts as a heat shield and reduces the heat loss from the inner vessel so there is an opening in the outer jacket through which a mercury thermometer can be inserted into the calorimeter so there is an uh, first of all the vessel that metallic vessel is kept in an wooden jacket which contains the heat insulating materials so the outer jacket it acts as a heat shield because the that heat loss should not take space from the inner vessel okay and even there we, there is an opening in the outer jacket through which we can insert that mercury thermometer into the calorimeter so using that we'll measure the heat okay so now let us consider a problem a sphere of aluminium of 0.047 kg placed for sufficient time in a vessel containing boiling water so that the sphere is at 100 degrees celsius getting this so we have considered a sphere of aluminium the mass of that sphere is 0.047 kg and it is placed in a vessel which contains the boiling water so that the sphere is having the temperature of 100 degrees celsius it is then immediately transferred to 0.14 kg copper calorimeter calorimeter containing 0.25 kg of water at 20 degrees celsius so the temperature of water rises because that aluminium sphere is at high temperature that is it is at 100 degrees celsius so whenever an outer body comes in contact with the cold body the heat will be lost from that hot body and that cold body will gain that heat so here the temperature in that calorimeter increases because it is at 20 degrees celsius so the temperature of water rises and attains a steady state at 23 degrees celsius so the question is calculate the specific heat capacity of aluminium okay so with the these details we should find the specific heat capacity of aluminium see in solving this example we shall use the fact that at a steady state heat given by an aluminium sphere will be equal to the heat absorbed by the water and calorimeter isn't it here there are two things which are absorbing the heat one is the water which is in the calorimeter and the other thing is the calorimeter so by considering this fact let us solve this problem so mass of the aluminium sphere is given in the equation that one we'll call, call it as m1 which is given by 0.047 kg okay initial temperature of aluminium sphere is 100 degrees celsius and that final temperature when we transfer it to the calorimeter it uh, 
reaches a steady state and that temperature is given as 23 degree celsius then we can find that uh, change in temperature that is delta t 100 degree celsius and 23 degree celsius we get 77 degree celsius this is the yes change in temperature let us consider the specific heat capacity of aluminium as Okay, the amount of heat lost by the aluminium spear is equal to the heat gained by calorie meter and yes, the water. is given by M1 SAL delta T. So here we know M1 that is 0 0.047. We don't know the specific heat capacity and delta T is 77 degree Celsius. Isn't it? So we know mass of water which is uh, M2, which is uh, given by 0 0.25 kg. Mass of calorie meter, that is uh, 0 0.14 kg. We can call it as M3. Initial temperature of water and calorie meter That is 20 degrees Celsius which is given in the equation and the final temperature that is given by 23 degrees Celsius and uh, change in temperature. is 3 degrees Celsius. Okay. Now specific heat capacity of water We know its value from the table that is 4.18 into 10 raised to 3 joule per 
के जी पर केल्विन सिमिलरली स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी ऑफ दैट कॉपर कैलोरी मीटर That is given by zero point three eight six into ten raised to three joule per kg per Kelvin. So the amount of heat gained by water and calorie meter is given by So we know M two we know specific heat capacity of water and we know M three. If you take delta P two as common, we know its value is three degrees Celsius. So if you simplify this, the value what we get here will be equal to the heat lost by the aluminium sphere, isn't it? So that is equal to zero point zero four seven into S A L into seventy seven. Okay. So that will be equal to zero point two five into four point one eight ten raised to three plus zero point one four. Point three eight six into ten raised to three three degree Celsius. So we get the specific heat capacity of aluminium as point nine one one kilojoule per kg per Kelvin. Okay.